species. So today we are taming the Brachiosaurus just because he's a beefy boy with lots of cool abilities and he's strong as anything. Let's get into it. Nice. So to start with, you want to grab his attention with a low dealing weapon because by the end he's going to be pretty damaged. So this time I used a long neck rifle with dart arrows just to keep him interested in me like. He has a very, very small aggro radius, so if you go too far, he will just leave and he won't give you the animation you want to be able to start the tame. So, you may lose him, you've just got to kite him a few times and just try and stay as close to him as you can without getting absolutely pounded by his legs. That's one of the methods you could use is run around circles around him, or the method I seem to use is just wait for him to attack, run back, let him swing, run back, let him swing. I've also tested if you can just straight up just walk in front of him and it can work but you've just got to be careful of that because he still can kill you pretty fast. Once this boy goes bipedal and gets on the back of his legs that's when you need to shoot just below his ankles. You can tell the difference because when you shoot below his ankles the damage is minimised but if you hit the top of his leg you'll get the actual damages if he did a body shot. So you just got to make sure you hit him above the ankles repeatedly and you just got to keep doing this and this is how he gains torpor. While he's bipedal, the aim for him is to get as close to you so he can do his mega stomp attack which will definitely one shot you if you're wearing flak or any sort of armour because it hits like a brick. All he's going to want to do is get close to you and then do this beastly stomp on the ground and it will instantly kill you if you're slightly in the radius. Now, as soon as this boy comes out of his bipedal stance he will begin to lose the torpor you've gained on him so fast. You'll need to get him back on his hind legs and try and apply as much torpor as you can, as fast as you can. The more try mates you have shooting his legs, the better, because obviously that means more shots get fired off. I'm currently using a 250% fabricated sniper rifle, so obviously with a primitive it will take 2.5 times as longer. But it can be done, you just got to be careful where you're looking and T-Rexes and all that good stuff when you're trying to tame this boy and getting crushed to a smithereen. Nice! I've tried multiple weapons, it seems like the fabricated sniper is so much better because it's more controlled. I tried the submachine gun but I lost a lot of um, tame and effectiveness at the end because I was spraying and praying when as soon as he went down. It's so hard to predict when to stop shooting so far you would use a fabricated sniper rifle just because of the control. Nice. To go for the steps again, one, don't get stopped. Two, shoot him just below the kneecaps. Three, keep the constant pressure on, otherwise he will lose the torpor just as fast as you shoot him. Nice. If you are trying to tame this boy by yourself, I would recommend getting a higher grade than primitive, otherwise it will just take too long. These boys seem to spawn wherever Bronto spawn. Once you shoot him and you see this animation of him getting a bit dizzy, that's how you know you're successful and you can start feeding him. Nice. So his preferred food is exceptional kibble. The issue with this boy is that he eats like a Bronto so he needs just as many feeds but he also has the torpor drain of a Ferrazino and a Spinosaurus which if you didn't know means he's going to wake up really really fast so you need a lot of narcotics to keep him down. Just to show you here I've sped up the gameplay a little bit and you can just see how fast that torpidity is going down and it is just insane so you're going to need a lot of narcotics so I bought 600 with me and I've got 100 exceptional kibble which isn't needed but just in case. One thing to note is that I got a perfect tame on him then, but it, he's now only level 224 instead of 225. Not sure if this is a bug, but it does. We'll now move on to his attacks. So he has four abilities. The first one is a back kick, which can be used as damage or to harvest. Little tippy taps on the back. Nice. He then has a frontal slam, his little version anyway, where he can just use this to attack again, gather. If you look in the top right corner of the screen, you can see a spade and a little pickaxe. This indicates that he's in harvest mode, so he has the ability to harvest more stuff with his attacks. There's also another mode, which is attack mode, which obviously grants more damage. Due to their massive size as well, they also can trample, so any rocks in the way, any trees in the way, they'll just immediately break. Also, if you walk over little dinos, you can insta-kill them. That's one other cool ability he has is, due to his magnificent size, he can walk through rocks and he can literally run over tames, as you'll see with this poor Fomia, and he insta-dies. Yeah, he totally wasn't on purpose, I'm a beast. One thing to note is that they're able to harvest all material. Moving on to his last ability, which is his roar. This acts like a Uteranus roar, as you can see the Giga's running away, and it also has the same effects, as in, it decreases their protection so that you can actually use it to try and come out faster. So if you had one of these boys and you ran a or a giga in a trap, it will actually take less tranks to knock it out, which is awesome. Once in the bipedal mode, you can use this to cause a devastating attack, which will do a humendous amount of damage. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the cheeky next one. Nice.